Hi, everybody. Don't you laugh. Hi. <laughs> I'll turn it down. Don't no, I got it. That doesn't work. It either goes on right. or whatever. It's just technical difficulties. You can see how our morning is. <laughs> <laughs> I decided I didn't actually want to do it after I agreed to teach. <laughs> and I said, no, you have to now. You have to now. Hey, Susie. Hi. We love you. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. So we're, there's all kinds of mamas out there, right? There's dads that have to be moms. You were a mom a lot to treasure. Because I was working a lot. Yep. We split it up. And then we are mommies to fur babies. Hey, Tracy. Happy Mother's Day. Hi, Lydia. I haven't seen you. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. We'll just take a few minutes to Happy Mother's Day each other and let everyone get online. Um, we got a, I have a really great meditation for us with the, um, the mantra Ma. Um, I feel so much like a mama because... We've got the Coven kitties. That's what they are. They came in the Coven. Yep. Two and a half weeks. They're going to be eight weeks on Wednesday. Hey, Julie. Happy Mother's Day. Yay. I'm so glad you're here. Awesome. We have a great practice. We're going to really move the body. And then we're going to some, do some a, a great meditation. It's uh, This meditation, it's really about... Feeling the Divine Mother as the protector and the enlightener, the, that part of us that can be protected by Divine Mother and hand ourselves over to her so she can bring out the very best in us. Isn't that what a good mommy does? We were talking to your mommy this morning. Yeah, we were. There are so many miracles. His, his, <laughs> she keeps looking at me. Well, <laughs> His mom, like, called his dad last night. Actually, my dad oh, called Oh, dad her called her, and they talked for a half an hour. That, I mean, like, ten years ago, we would have never thought that happens, you know? Always hold space for love and for healing and for the unexpected. I had a little miracle. We've had this whole thing going on in the coven. You all know how much I love the trail. And there was these chains that got put on the trail that you couldn't get in. And then somebody put grease on it. Now, we know the owner of all that land. We assumed it was him, but it was somebody else that was doing it. Anyways, I've been, like, freaking out, like, going a different way in. And I'm going to cut those chains. And, but then, you know, this man would be, you know, honey, just, you know, let's see what's going to happen. No, oh, you know, the voice of reason was there. And then... Um, Yesterday, this man says to me, one of my neighbors, he's like, you know, he was saying something about like, those chains should be gone and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this morning, I go back up and the same neighbor's there. He goes, the chains are gone. I'm like, the chains are gone. I don't know if this is making sense, but it was just one of those things where I was very attached to the outcome and I would do my thing, but then I would let it go. Do my thing and I would let it go. A lot like your dad and mom talking and being in each other's life. Attached to the outcome, wanting that, but then you let it go. That's what Kundalini Yoga teaches me to do, especially as a mother. Hi, Carly. Hey, Carly. To really trust that treasure is, you know, <clears throat> got her own mind and is on the right track and to really love and empower and let it go. Let it all go to the Divine Mother. Um, before we really start, I just want to express, um, we're going to be doing a meditation. Hi, on, Erica. Hi, Erica. On the mother today, and it's from Guru Ratana, and I just want all of us here, especially Carly and Erica, all of those that have been in the presence of this amazing woman, and uh, Guru Ratana as the mother of Kundalini in San Diego. And um, she is all of the text in our training. And she comes to us a couple times during the training. And, you know, depending on what we're going to be like in June, she'll be in a Zoom call or she'll be live. We'll have to see what happens. But thank you, thank you, Guru Ratana, for being the lighthouse, the wise magician, priestess, astrology, kundalini, mastery that you are. Also, thank you, Guru Ratana, for having that meditative presence that comes to us and, and the 
example of what a sadhana looks like as a woman. Good morning, happy Mother's Day, Carly and Erica. Happy Mother's Day, B. Crafty B. Yay. Rebecca. Happy Mother's Day. I'm so glad all of us are taking a moment to be together. Hey, Margaret. Margaret is using her husband's face. Oh, Facebook. Margaret. We love you. Happy Mother's Day. You have anything to say? Uh, I usually do, but when you're with me, I have a tendency to get a little quiet. No, I'm so overpowering. You are. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I have something that's really heavy on my heart that I want to share. Um, I, I have this, uh, you know, I called my mom this morning. Oh. And, um, hi, Veronica. It was nice to see you yesterday, Veronica. Thanks for coming out and saying hi to me. Um, I was in Veronica's neighborhood yesterday, and I just sent a message, and... She came out and we had a nice conversation. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing, brother? Hey, Jim and Sonia. Happy Mother's Day, girl. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. So, um, you know, I just want to say this because it, it's been so heavy on my heart. It's, um, you know, happy Mother's Day to you all. You know, your moms are just such absolutely amazing souls. Um, I have a I have a bit in my in inside of my own heart like a mom, but it's nothing like what you are, what you do, and um, I'm just very grateful for all the moms out there. But today I wanted to devote our class and all of our inner prayers and our devotion. I wanted to devote it to the moms out there who 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 have lost their um, physical abilities to be moms in the physical. Um, you know, that particular situation down in Georgia, and you all know what I'm talking about, that mom out there um, who lost her son, you know, um, I've had this feeling in my heart since that happened, and it's just so heavy, and it's like, part of me is in denial, like I don't even want to believe that it happened, and I don't even want to believe that it still exists and is going on, but it did, and I just, I can't say enough about just how a sick feeling I have inside of myself for that happening, and so today I just really wanted to devote our class and all that we've done and learned in Kundalini to, to prop up and to send from our hearts to these moms who, who have, they don't have the fortune like maybe that we do or maybe some of you have lost, you know, in a situation where you don't have a sibling that you might have had. Um, I want to take today's class and I want to devote it to all the moms out there who, who have had losses. And, you know, I, I sit there today and I know Marcia lost her mom 13 years ago. And today as I'm calling my mom, I just had this feeling like, you know, there might come a day when I might not be able to pick the phone up and call my mom and say, Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. And so I just really want to honor and shout out to all of those of you and people who you might know who are in those kind of situations who don't have the luxury that I have this morning of calling my mother, you know? Um, so, you know, let's, let's do something with that today. Let's, let's, let's do our service. Let's do our service and our devotion and our prayer. Let's take some action and Let's be the peaceful warrior within and let's, let's keep moving forward on a spiritual level and knowing and understanding that these things are really existing out in our world still. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot of work to be done. When we do this practice, we're connecting, connecting to the divine ma, the Adi Shakti. And really, you know, as Tony's saying all this to just really hold, 
that those people that are suffering, the moms, they can lean into the Adi Shakti, the mother of all mothers. You know, our teacher, um, Tom, used to say that the Divine Heavenly Father made creation, and then he went golfing, and he said to Divine Mother, okay, they're yours, you know, take care of them. But to let the Divine Mother heal what needs to be healed so we can be her best child, so that we can show up for each other. You know, the Divine Mother wants us to be... Um, a child of hers and to be humble. A humility is knowing who we are and whose we are and holding out for Divine Mother to make us into what we can be and to stay in that place to know that we are always hers and she is always working on us to be a better version of her child. And I just hope that for those like for myself, like I even think of my mother with Divine Mom. You know, she did not really have that mom. And so she can rest in the mother. And I can know she's resting there. And, and love knowing she's being healed and transformed. And this is what this class is going to, to do. We're going to move through that. And then we're going to, go, we're going to do the meditation um, that Kudratana calls the mother power. The mother power meditation. It's awesome. It's beautiful. And I'm so glad you're all here. Yeah, so if you're just tuning in, hi Susan. Hi Susan, um, Jenna. If, if you're just tuning in, this class is is devoted to all the moms, um, and 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 especially to the moms who, who don't have, have the great fortune of having, you know, they they've had their their situations changed, and and they may not have in the physical form um, somebody there, you know, or or the people or the people who don't have the physical forms of the mom. To call and say happy mother's day you know this this class is devoted to them and to you you know and to everybody because it, whether you're a man and you're and you're a woman i'm so sorry to hear that jenna. Um, jenna and thank you so much um for sharing that yeah this is for you man this is for, this you, is for you to jenna. this is for you jenna it's for it's it's for you to to acknowledge and to be able to celebrate in that the love that you have still remaining today, present. It's for that, you know, it's not like, it's not, it doesn't have to be the doomsday. It's like you, we can celebrate this together. You know, I don't even know you, but it's like, I can feel you. And, and that's, you know, that's what we're here today for, you know, it's, it's all about service today. Service from our heart to your heart and from your heart to the, the, the world we live in. And All right, let's so do it. So just one thing before we start. I put some different kinds of songs because I wanted all this mod. Should all be okay, but if the, the sound goes off, please comment right away so I can switch the song. But I think I have permission from Guru Ganesha and everybody, so we should be all good and I'll have the playlist up. Also, sometimes the internet cuts out. It hasn't been much, but it did yesterday. Just stay. It'll come back on. Yeah, and today's going to be pretty simple. You know, we're going to do some warm-ups, and then we're going to lay you down for a nice rest and a little sound healing, and then we're going to get you back up and do this. Go deep into the mother power Into meditation. the mom meditation. Yeah. You know what? This does not work. It's not working for, for you? No, I don't. It's okay, but I have to have the default. <laughs> I will work. You remember what the yeah. default um, is? No. Yeah, the one we always play when we talk. Oh, I didn't That's have the, the only default. one I can talk to. No. This one, like, I'm listening <laughs> and I'm talking and I'm like, all right, uh, it's man. It's Mother's Day. I get to mess Oh, up. happy Mother's Day to you, honey. <laughs> no. All right. We love you. From, we love you. Let's do this. And good to morning, you. Kathleen. I'm glad you're in the house. You're a mother to so many, many, many. We miss you dearly. And we will be seeing some of you soon. All right, hands to the heart center, close your eyes, drop your chin, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, relax your tongue, gaze into spiritual eye center. Inhale slow and deep through your nose. Exhale mouth. Inhale to tune in. 
Sit up nice and tall, straight spine. Just close your eyes. And just, no matter what the situation is or ever was or ever will be, right here, right now, sitting in this moment, I just want you to all really feel and know and understand that you are okay. No matter what's happened, no matter how bad it, it once might have been, no matter how good it may be, I want you to just know as you sit here in this moment that everything's okay. And there's a big, 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 big picture going on. And we're all in and a part of that big picture. All right. Place your hands down onto your knees. And let's just really feel the Adi Shakti with the Sufi grind. Inhale the heart forward and bring it around. Sink back. Inhale forward. You gotta move up a little bit. Exhale back. Moving in this Sufi grind, relating to the Adi Shakti, the creative primal life force of the Divine Mother, sparking every thought in your mind, seeding every new thing that God is wanting to bring to you. Just this, breathe. Breathe with confidence and move with confidence. Because that's who you are, that's who we are. That's why we practice Kundalini Yoga, so that we can know and understand through feeling. And as you're spiraling, become aware 
uh, that you're drawing in the possibilities, the creative mother, the healing, the clearing, so that you have space to take in the gifts she wants to give to you today. Feeling the power of the Heavenly Father and the Holy Mother, knowing you're that magical child. Breathe and move. Come to stillness and take it the other way. Here's our one fur baby. She's the mama of everybody. She's the mama. She's not too, well, she's getting better with the baby. Yeah, a little bit better. A little better. Hi, Spinner. Hi, Spin. Breathe and move. Other way. Oh. <laughs> That's why I'm here, by the way. Thank God. Thank God. Saturn in Capricorn. That's it. Yeah. And I'm Venus in Capricorn, so I just love embossing me around. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not bossing. Okay, you're not bossing. Okay. You're making me better. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Lifetime of getting better. That's what I signed up for. What'd you sign up for? Come to stillness. Just this. All right, sitting up nice and tall. Let's do three minutes of Ego Eradicator. We're just gonna have some fun this morning. We're gonna keep it on the down low. Do you wanna do? I don't even know what that means, but I heard it <laughs> one time. We're gonna do so. Ego Eradicator with yeah. Anna. <laughs> <laughs> All right, curl the fingers. Now, your goal this morning is everything that we do, I want you to be able to look back later today and think about everything that you did this morning in Kundalini Yoga, and I want you to be able to see and, and be able to say to yourself, everything that you did, you didn't just go through the motions. You didn't steal from your own experience, from your own life. You dove in all the way and just went for it. So everything that we do, I want you to be able to look back and go, oh yeah, Ego Eradicator, man, nailed that. Oh yeah, Soupy Grind, yeah, that was just, I was in that all the way. That's our goal for today. And as we do that, the heart opens and opens and, and, and electrifies itself and, and is able to project, really, really project as much as possible the compassion, the love, the empathy that I'm feeling, you know, and you're feeling, and we're all feeling from any possible tragedies or just beautiful, beautiful things. It, and here's the thing with this um, online yoga. This is advanced yoga because it's really hard for you to stay here and not go get a cup of coffee or just this one more thing, you know. This is special needs yoga. Hi, Carrie. Hey, Carrie. We Carrie love Tesla. you. Happy, happy Mother's Day. So this is special needs. We have special needs on this Mother's Day to heal our hearts, to heal our past, present, and send the light into our future. And it's really advanced yoga to stay right here. So let's do this breath of fire. Curl your fingers into the tops of your hands. You're going to shoot those arms straight up and then open them 60 degrees. Reach from the shoulders. Elbows are locked. Thumbs are flexed. Chin drops down slightly, eyes close very gently, project spiritual eye, breath of fire through the nose, begin.
Inhale deep. Bring your thumbs together over your head. Release the fingers. Now reach, reach, reach. Exhale, comb the auric field down. Relax. Take a moment. Feel how all that empathy and compassion and whatever pain you might have in your heart still has a way of figuring out where to move that kind of energy within itself as you come to a pause like this. It has a way of redirecting those kind of energies to where they should be in order to help you Continue to move into a positive direction no matter what has happened or what is happening. Bring your hands to the shins. We're going to move a little in and out here. Spinal flex. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Turn it up. Activate the navel center, very active, pushing out, pulling in. practice this morning because we can. We feel this devotion in our hearts and this compassion and this empathy because we can. It's a gift. So feel it and decide what you want to do with it. forward hold exhale back round inhale neutral spine take a minute close your eyes These are the moments in the pauses where you have the icon on the home screen and the icon is everything's going to be okay no matter what's happened or is happening and as you're pausing you're taking the mouse and you're going up and you're double clicking on it and you're activating that reality. You can feel it. Feeling it is knowing it. Okay. I'm going to go in the back here. You're going to do some big exercises. Not, not too big. So let's continue on here with a nice cat cow. Inhale, up, head back, exhale, round, press. Inhale, and exhale. Don't just go through the motions here. I want you to feel every aspect of what we're doing.
Doesn't mean you have to go fast. You can go slow. As long as you're in the moment and not just going through the motions. Feel yourself becoming more free in the movement. Instead of struggling, rejoicing. Inhale up, exhale round, push back onto your heels, keep your palms out where they are, spread the fingers, walk the hands out as far as they'll go, forehead to the earth, and now bring your palms, walk your palms over together into a prayer. And say a prayer, silent prayer to yourself. The easiest form of prayer is thank you. I love you. Now, your hands are in a prayer. I want you to put your hands back out to flat palm and then walk your palms out again to shoulder width. So from this position, I want you to inhale up to a tabletop. And then slowly, I want you to exhale, lower yourself down from your knees. And then slowly, I want you to inhale up into an up dog cobra. And then slowly, I want you to exhale all the way back into the child's pose. As I'm coming back into the child's pose, as my butt is going to hit my heels, I'm going to inhale slow. Exhale slow. Inhale slow, exhale back slow until my butt hits my heels and then I inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale back. Bring the palms together once again and relax the jaw and the tongue. Silent prayer. Send out your compassion and your empathy, your love.
Now, for those of you who want to take it to the next level, you can. If you don't want to, I want you to stay right where you were at. The child's pose equals the downward dog. The plank pose equals the tabletop pose for you. Lowering the chaturanga, up dog, and then back to down dog. So this is the, the modified version would be just like this. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, to go a step further, for those who want to, this is called Sarbandante Kriya. Turn your toes under, press back to triangle pose. Press your heels towards the earth. So this is, for those of you who want to stay in the old position, this is the equivalent to the baby pose. We inhale here, come forward high plank. Exhale lower. Inhale up dog, stay on the balls of your feet. Exhale back and when our heels hit the floor, Inhale forward, exhale down, inhale up, exhale back, heels hit the floor, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. downward dog, inhale, exhale, drop your knees to the earth, come on down prayer. Thank you. Heart is beating more rapid, thank you. I can feel the parts of my body that are talking to me. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day, Marley, Marnie. Aloha. Aloha to Hawaii. Walk the hands back out. Turn the toes. Triangle. Right knee, right wrist. Top of the left foot, back on the earth. Come on down. What's this called, Marnie? Pigeon. Happy Mother's Day to you. with the mother and father. We hold a lot of our childhood trauma here in the hips. So breathe into healing and making space for a new relationship as a mother, a father, a child. Breathe into we are one. All is well. Roll onto the right hip and take the left knee and bring it into the bottom of the right foot. Turn to the right side and come on over and twist. Walk your hands back, left leg back down, position the hands, turn the left toes under, press back triangle. Really breathe it out. A lot of thank you breaths this morning. Left 
knee, left wrist, top of the right foot to the earth. Come on down. Breathe in the gifts of all the feelings. And be grateful for the experience. Especially if you feel any kind of soreness or discomfort, be, thank be thankful for that. The body is always teaching and showing us. Roll on to the left hip. Take the, bottom, take the left knee up to the bottom of the, the right knee to the bottom of the left foot. Turn to the other side. Twist. Hi, Anna. I got a little present here with me. She's a feisty, she's a feisty mama. All right, come back, turn the right foot under, step back, triangle. Walk the feet up between the hands, forward fold. Walk the feet out. Kundalini chair pose. Just one minute. Inhale, exhale onto your backs, take a rest. and focus and awareness to your heart center and recognize and really captivate the reality of this is how the heart heals itself allow the sound current to penetrate penetrate deeply into that heart chakra
Start to deepen your breath. Wiggling your fingers and your toes and your wrists and your ankles. And stretch your arms over your head. Take a deep inhale, bend your knees. Hug the left knee in, release the right leg out, and exhale on over. Take a few deep breaths in Kundalini. Cat stretch. Come on back to center. Switch the legs out, inhale deep, and exhale on over to the other side. Take a few deep breaths here. Those kittens are a big hit. Come on back to center. Bend your knees and wrap your arms around your knees. Try not to cross your ankles. Inhale deep and Bring your nose to your knees as you hold the breath and revitalize, recharge, recalculate and re-energize yourself. And now exhale out that breath and rub the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands together at the same time. Bring your hands to your knees and inhale forward and exhale back on your spine three to four or five times. Come sitting up as we get ready to dive into another experience with full hearts. Why don't you tell us what we're gonna do there, Mahadraj? So we're going to do the Mother Power Meditation from um, The Gift of Womanhood by Guru Ratana. And so the, pow the Ma Power Meditation magically evokes many deep experiences with the mother, the mother. So if we haven't spent a lot of time relating to the cosmic mother, this is going to help us get that connection going. One has to practice it to comprehend what it can do. At first, we may often think about our mother, our relationship with her during different times of our lives, or our relationship as a mother. I use this meditation to heal the mother wounds in my courses. This is Gurutana. It is impressive how it shifts our perspective of our mother and our relationship with her. Negative spirits and scripts are erased and deep love and connection prevails. Both men and women also awaken to the living presence of the Earth Mother and the Divine Mother. Good. All right, so here's what you are going to do. We're going to be chanting Ma eight times, okay? So it's Sven going to lost his mommy when he was two, two and a half weeks. Not even about two weeks and three days. And we took Sven in. And Anna. And we mothered Sven. We were mamas to Sven and Anna. He, he was a very good bottle feeder, weren't you, Sven? All right. So we're going to do it like this. You're going to inhale. And you're going to chant ma eight times. So ma, 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 ma. And we're just going to repeat, okay? We're attuning to the Cosmic Mother, the Adi Shakti. This provides a lot of healing. It also provides protection. And she is the primal creative force. The Divine Mother has created everything you see, touch, smell, hear. She creates everything. This is an excellent meditation when you are feeling like you need to be more creative in your life, or you need to create space for more love, or you need to create a new beginning. This is the this is the meditation for you, the mother power, okay? So let me begin. We're going to do this for quite a while. Just get into the ma zone, as it were, okay? All right, 
Place your hands actually on your heart. And as you do this, I want you to imagine that as you're chanting Ma, that right through your hands, Ma is streaming out into the cosmos, into the earth, to all our children, to those on this side and the other side of the veil, connecting us to the one truth. There is one love, one soul, one Ma, one you and I. Project Thank that. Project that out this morning as we talked at the beginning of class. Project it out to all of those mothers right now that are in so much pain because of their losses. Send them this wave of protection, healing, and love. Inhale. Ma.
of the mother come to you. Allow yourself to be absorbed by it. Enjoy being nurtured and cared by the Divine Mother Presence. Let her have all your childhood traumas, all your lifetime traumas. Let her have all of you. Let the Divine Mother bless your inner child in each situation. Let the Divine Mother bless all the mothers who have lost so much. Let the Divine Mother remind us to stay close to her, to keep us strong. Let us always remember, remember any time we want to judge or separate ourselves from anybody, remember that is somebody's child redirect your thoughts to the Divine Mother, get back into her heart, and ask for a better way today. Bring your hands into a prayer. Let us in with the long time sun and three
three sat nams. Hi, Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen. We love you so much. So next week, Tuesday Hi, Kanye. night, um, Tuesday night we have um, Tracy doing Yoga Nidra at eight o'clock. So perfect when you're in Zoom, you could just do Yoga Nidra and go right off to sleep. On Wednesday, please join Treasure and I. We're going to be talking about everything about feeling better as women, being strong being connected to each other so we can walk into the best version of ourselves through what we eat, what we think, what we do. Um, also, Satnam Sonia, yay! Uh, also, um, oh, and on Thursday night, Tony and I are going to do a sound healing, and then we have all the great yoga lined up. The next week we'll have Tower of Light and another moon circle will be the new moon in Gemini. And I'm hoping that in the new moon in Gemini, we will open up GDF on a limited basis. So we'll have, you'll have to, to be live, sign up to get in. And then we'll still tape, so if we already reach our max, you'll be able to be with us. Um, and the teacher training is starting. It's going to be starting in... Um, in uh, July, I mean June, June 19th, and it's going to be live and Zoom, and we have had so much luck with how giving and attentive you are, so there is a suggested price, but start, we'll work it out, we'll pay as you go, just it's time to do the Guru Is You Life Master Training. We have a great group, so I think we could have maybe two or three more that could be live, and the rest will be Zoom, and... I'm excited about it. We also got a little, this little energy boost from Guru Ratana about improving our, um, our uh, training, and it's really awesome. It's going to take you deeper and make you just that more connected to yourself, Kundalini, and be a better teacher, I think. That's what our granddaughter does now, whenever she does anything right. <laughs> Satnam, we love you. Love you. Happy Thank Mother's you. Day, Rebecca, Carly, James, Sonia, Margaret. Rebecca Casey's here. Hi. Yay, Thank Rebecca. you all. We love you. We'll love see you, you soon. Satnam. Bye, Margaret. Bye. Bye, Jimmy. Bye, Carly. Satnam. <laughs>